Good evening. Tonight we are going to do a live stream of Cosmic Encounter Duel. I am Spencer. I'm Laura. And we are super excited to share this game. Uh, uh, this, we are excited to share this game with everybody. Um, so thanks for joining us, Jordan and Bailey. Y'all are awesome, and we're excited to share the game. Um, basically, this is the two-player version of Cosmic Encounter. However, there are definitely some differences since there's only two players. I mean, you can't ally with another player at the table. You can't force them to ally with you, which right. some of the races, some of those alien races can do, which is really cool. So there's some, there's some, definitely some differences here that we will show to you. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to play through the game, but we're also going to kind of explain it as we go along, not only for your benefit, but we're still kind of learning too. <laughs> so <laughs> We're uh, still learning. We are still learning. All right, so this is, we have this nice play mat um, that you can get. It's not exclusive or anything, mm -hmm. and um, it's pretty cool, don't, wouldn't you say? Right, yeah. Like I said, when we first got the box, I feel like the artwork on the cover is very Tron meets Dinosaur Island. So mm -hmm. big, bright colors, big graphics, and you can kind of see that exemplified here on the playmat. It's very pretty. Yeah. And I also really love these translucent ships They're that pretty we awesome. have. And I like the sound yeah. they make, and um, all that stuff is really fun. Yep, it definitely looks cool. Um, it's a cool looking game. All right, so in Cosmic Encounter, we are dueling over planets, over control of planets. You win the game if you control five planets. Now that's the basic win condition. Mm -hmm. Some races will change that up. They have different win conditions. Right. Sometimes you need more planets, or it might be something completely random. Yep. So, um, but the main one is to control five planets. You lose if you're not the first one to control five planets, mm -hmm. or if you run out of ships. It's possible to run out of ships, and if you don't have any more, well, then you lose that way. So you don't want to do that. Right. Okay, so we're going to walk you through this. The first thing we do before we get started, though, is we need to see who's going to be the leader and who's going to be the straggler. Right, and, and we've already done this once on well, our other stream, yeah. the silent stream. We'll yep. call it the silent stream. That's right. Um, so we're going to do it again. We've shuffled our decks. Okay. Let's see how good our shuffling skills are. All right, I'm a four. I'm 13. All right, so I am the straggler. I get this cat, like this cat. Let me see if I hold it on this side if you can see it better. It's a cat hanging here. It's, um, it's pretty cute, but this means you're the straggler. It doesn't do anything other than determining or denoting that you are the straggler. I pointed out to Spencer when he first showed it to me, hey, that looks a lot like something I've seen before. And I went digging in our box of Cosmic Encounter, and we have a couple of, of expansions in We don't there. have any. None? No. Okay, so just the base game. There is a race in there called The Loser, <laughs> and it is that little feline-looking alien. <laughs> and so I knew I was right. I've seen it before. You got a good so memory. So a nice little callback. Yeah. The yeah. original game. Well, there's like some other callbacks in the game that we might see later on. We might see. Okay, so you're going to be the leader. Now we're going to we're going to fill our hand up to six with this card, including. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. These are called our plan cards, and these will come into play in contests and duels. Speaking of, we are going to start the game off with a card from the. Uh, this is the destiny area. This is the discovery cards, event cards, and refresh cards. We're going to start with a discovery card. These cards basically dictate how we play the game. Yeah. So it's not the same as the original where there's a board is already populated with the planet and you choose which one to go to. This is telling us when we discover a planet and what we do with it. Mm -hmm. Usually a duel, but there might be something else we do. You're right. We'll see. Hey, there's Chris. There's Chris the guy that saved hero. us. Thanks, Chris. Glad you're here. Thanks for letting us know. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is it's called Foreigner in a Foreign Land. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. All right. So discover a planet. We reveal the top one. There we go. Got this nice, looks like cotton candy planet. Mm-hmm. Okay. So while we're started, since we're started here, let's go ahead and talk about our races real quick before okay. we get into the duel. Um, right. I'll go first. I am Red Tape. Um, it says, the bureaucratic red tape may not always win their confrontations, but they can ensure they lose in the slowest and most infuriating way possible. I love that. And um, the, the ability has to do with when we're dueling, and so I'll explain that whenever I get to that point. 
Okay, cool. <laughs> Chris calls dibs on Cotton Candy World. All right. It's all yours. And I am Intelligent Mineral. The reason why dumb is a box of rocks is now a compliment. <laughs> so when plans are revealed, I can guess a number. And after plans are revealed, if the number that I guessed is within three of what Spencer played, I get to treat his plan as a three. And if my guess matched his reveal plan, I get to gain a reinforcement, which is another extra goodie card Reinforcements that can are great. help out a lot. Yep. So, All right. we've explained that. We've already drawn up our hand of six. First thing we have to do is we've got these little wheels, and that's going to... We're going to use that to determine how many ships we're going to send to the planet. Yep, so that's the very first step of a duel. We're going to set the dial how many ships we're going to send. We can send between one and four, and you don't want to send too many because you don't want to lose your ships too soon. So you I'm might also send... notice we already have some ships in the warp. The game dictates that, that you start out with five ships there. Some races, again, do not. But yeah, okay. All right, I've chosen mine, have you? Yes. All right, three, two, one, two. Two. Oh... Okay, you're in my mind already. All right, so we send two ships each to the planet. Mm -hmm. And the next thing that we do is to choose plans and tactics. So these little tokens standing up here are called tactics, and they will determine whether you attack, defend, or refresh. And we'll show you how that plays out here. We're also choosing a plan as a backup in case things aren't resolved here at the very first. All right, here's my plan, and here's my tactic. Ready? Mm-hmm. Reveal. Oh, we both did two defense. So nothing really happens. She defends nothing. I defend nothing. So from there, we move to the plans we've selected. We do. We're going to reveal plans. I am going to guess. Okay. This is my... Out, I'm going to outplay by guessing a number. Mm -hmm. I'm going to guess that you have played an 11. I played a 10. <gasps> well, would you look at that? Looky there. Would you look at that? I'm, I'm looking. So since I, I'll reveal mine, I played a 10. Oh. But since I guessed within three, his plan is now a three. That's and mine's a 10. Lovely. Hey, family meeple. Hi, family meeple. <laughs> so, okay. well, from there. Well, we also have the ship advantage. But. Even if I had it, it wouldn't help. Ship advantage goes to whoever has the most ships on the planet. Mm -hmm. And we both have the same amount. Yep. But the straggler is supposed to be something that helps differentiate on that, right? Um, We're double checking the rule book. Uh, that's only whenever doing uh, the so no clout. ship advantage. No ship advantage right now. Okay. Okay. So, um, yeah, because <laughs> there's, anyway, it doesn't matter. All right, so I lose, because even if I got the, the benefit, then I would still be lower than you, because mm -hmm. that only put me at a nine. And Hi, we, Daniel. Hey, Daniel. Good to see you. Um, we also don't have any reinforcements yet. Yep. So we can't be adding on reinforcements to that. So because of my ability, I made his plan a three to my ten. So I win the duel. Yep. This is my planet now. And you can get out of here. All right. I retreat my but ships. the loser gets to gain three reinforcements. Oh, I'm glad I lost then. One, two, three. Looky there. Got me some reinforcements. Would you look at there? But you're one planet closer to winning. Indeed. And it also shows on the bottom of that card that you drew the next one from these three decks that we need to draw. So it's dictating that we need to draw a blue one. An event? Yeah, go for it. All right. Event. Step right up. Each player places a card from their hand face down. Then, starting with the leader. That's you. Each player guesses a number and both players reveal their face down cards. Then each player returns their revealed cards to their hand. The player whose guess is closer to the value of their opponent's card chooses to draw three cards, recover four ships, or destroy two of their opponent's ships from their supply. The straggler wins a tie. Okay. 
So is this a contest? Yeah. Uh, it just says event. Okay. No, no contest. All right, so what happens? Sorry, I was looking up a rule. <laughs> okay. We each place a card from our hand face down. Okay. Then I'm going to guess a number, and you're going to guess a number. And okay. then we each reveal our face down cards, and we take the card back to our hand. And the player whose guess is closer to the value of their opponent's cards chooses one of those things I listed off. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put this here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to pick a card. I'm going to pick a card. Here's my card. Did you peek? No. Okay. All right. I get to pick first. I get to guess first. I'm the leader. Okay. Okay. I am going to guess an eight. And I'll guess a six. Four. I'm closer because I have a you? two. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. All right. So what do I get? It is a neat way to throw variety mm -hmm. into the game. All right. So you can draw three cards. Recover four ships or destroy two of my ships from my supply. I'm going to recover four ships. That, I think that's a good call. Thank you. I think so, too. All right. And we take our card back into our hand. Oh, okay. All right. Next thing we need to do is draw another event card. No. Oh, this one. refresh. Refresh. Ships or resources. Starting with the leader, each player either recovers two ships or acquires one of the following resources from any planet they control. Nothing for me. I am going to take the resource from the planet I control. So, really small here for y'all. On the planet, there's this little icon. It looks kind of like a dot matrix, like 8-bit little Like Space guy. Invaders, kind of. Yeah, there's a whole lot of them on here. Purple, yellow, green, red, and blue. And they're all different shapes. And so, um, this per cotton candy planet... Yep. It, 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 it just catches so easy. <laughs> Cotton Candy Planet is the red one. And that says recover up to three ships. So I'm going oh. to use that instead of the recovering two ships. So I will recover my three ships from the warp. And will you be recovering two ships? I don't have any... any um... It says you may recover two ships or... Oh, or do, do that? One of these. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Here you go. Got all my ships. You did. Okay. I have a planet. Well, I have ships. Good so. for you. So we use this tactic. Yep. We have so to lay, have to it, lay down. it down to show that we've used it. Yeah. And so it's this cool little cardboard stand up thingy. It's kind of hard for you all to see with the lighting. I'm sorry. Yep. Okay. There you go. Okay. Next, we're going to discover a planet. Oh, here we go. Unobtainium Rush. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. All right, the loser of this gets two in reinforcements, and then each player readies one of their opponent's tactics. Oh. Okay, so now we're going to again have a duel, and we start by choosing how many ships we're going to send. Okay. I'm ready. Me too. Four. Four. <laughs> okay. We both send four ships to try to take over this planet. Um, the next step is to choose a plan and tactics. <laughs> what are you doing? Wouldn't you like to know? I would. Okay. I'm going to choose my plan here. Mm -hmm. Put it right there. Mm -hmm. Ready? Um, Okay, yes. All right, so now this is going to determine what happens. All right, Laura attacks four. I defend four. So we both end up with four ships. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we spent those. And before, that means we go on to reveal plans. But before we do that, I'm going to use my ship, my uh, race's ability, which first is regulate. Before plans are revealed, if there are one or fewer cards under this card, there are zero, let me place my opponent's plan underneath it without looking at it. So now you have to choose another plan. Okay. Ready? I am also going to use my race's ability. Okay. Before we reveal plans, I get to guess. I hope you guess right. What your number is. <laughs> I 
I'm going to get 20. Okay, ready to reveal? Yes. 12. 13. Okay, so you're winning. Neither of us have the advantage. I can play a reinforcement. Wait, are you, do you have any reinforcements to play? I don't have any reinforcements. Okay, I'm gonna play a reinforcement of six. Okay. Puts me at 18. Any other things? Nope, all right. So, shoo, get off of my planet. So I get to bring them back home. Yes. They are not destroyed. Yep, loser, you get two reinforcements. Yay! Then each of us ready one of our opponent's uh, tactics. So reinforcements go into the hand limit, right? Yes. All right, which the hand limit is six. Mm -hmm. okay. And before you have to have that before you reveal a new card, a new card from over here. Um, we get to choose, you get to choose one of my tactics to ready, and I get to ready one of your tactics. So okay. I'm going to choose this one. You mean like bring it back up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's what that means? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that as thanks <laughs> for you. How have we played the exact same thing? We just have, I should have played, there's another role that was the bouncer that mm -hmm. if you match, you ignore their yeah. tactic. That's a good one. This is really close. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, so that's the end of that. We're going to draw a card, but at this point is where we need to make sure we have our hand. So I've got six. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. What's going to happen? It's a refresh. Yes. A chosen gift. Starting with the leader, each player discards the top card of their deck and resolves the option that includes their card's value. Okay. All right. So there's some options on there. Mm -hmm. All right. I, are you the leader now? Nope. Okay. Well, you're right. I always get so anxious and go out of turn. It's normal for me. I played seven. Okay. So I gain one reinforcement. My turn? Yes. I played a five. So what does that do? Gain one reinforcement. Ooh, I love reinforcements. Okay. All right. Next, we do another planet. Yes. Let's see what we find. This is everything and nothing. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. The loser either draws cards up to your hand limit or discards your hand. Hmm. Okay. How Which, many... when you discard your hand, then you get to draw brand new cards, right? When it comes time for you to need to play a card, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. What are you going to do? How many ships are you going to send? I'm going to send this many. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Three. Two. Yes. I have the advantage right now. All right, now we need to choose a plan and a tactic card. I mean, a tactic thing. Okay. What tactic am I going to use? Might as well use... This one. All right, ready? Yep. All right, I attack two, she attacks three, so. Um, We're both out of both there. Both out of there. <laughs> that was counterproductive. Okay. So then we start all over again. Our readied plan goes mm. away. Okay. Um, send ships. And this goes away. Yep. I've chosen how many ships I'm going to send. How about you? I have. All right. I'm sending two. One. Aha. Okay. Choose a plan. And a tactic. I have my ready. I'm ready. Go. One defense. Ah. Okay. Now I have the advantage, though, going into our plan thing. Okay. I am going to guess that your number is eight. Wrong. It's a two. Okay. 
a wow. terrible. Mine's an eight. Okay. I'm um, starting with you. We can play reinforcements. Would you like to play any well, reinforcements? What is your advantage right now? Uh, it so is on zero. The card dictates ship advantage. So whoever has the most or the majority or more ships on the planet, they get to add that number to their clout, which is the number revealed on their plan card. There's so many different <laughs> clout, plan, tactic, destiny, discovery, discovery, refreshing. We're getting, we're getting it, a whole though. bunch of different things, though. We're getting it. Yeah, we are. Okay, so um, you have zero. Yeah, that's my advantage is zero. Okay. Because it's everything and nothing. So for pass, I'm going to pass on reinforcements right now. Okay. Um, I will play this eight reinforcements. I get a big boost. Puts me at a 10. Okay, I will play a reinforcement. And you can play reinforcements on your opponent. Your eight just went away. Okay. All right, <laughs> so. I played a negative eight on top of it. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what to do. Yikes. So you're winning currently. Basically, it's two to eight. I'm going to give this a try. Um, reinforce reinforcement. I'm playing it on you, and your reinforcement has to be the one from the top of the deck. Okay. So you take that. And so now you have to play the one from the top of the deck. Okay. Be negative. Nope. Positive nine. So I'm at 17 now. Tripartisan okay. support. Okay. Well, um, I don't have anything that I can do. So. And all this goes into my discard pile now. Yep. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Cool. Uh Good for you. Good for you. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. what we got next? An event? Yes. The Trials of Vaquero Ura in the Seventh Dimension. Place one random unused envoy from each of the this and this decks face up as neutral envoys. Okay. So these are unused. Yes, place one random unused envoy from each of those two decks. Okay. Face up as neutral envoys. Okay. So, look, this is the guy from the cover of Cosmic Encounter. Mm-hmm. See that guy right there? He looks... He has, like... He makes me think of the troll that um, in Trolls World Tour, oh. he went and found his family. He's mm -hmm. a funk troll, it turns out. I can never remember his name, though. Okay, so that's called, par that's the Parasite. Yep. And this one is Voyager. So envoys are alien races you can ally with, and they can help you out um, as you go through the game. Um, but there are only certain times that you can do that. So um, we'll have to wait and see when that if that comes up. So uh, we have a contest now. Oh, okay. The winner increases their friendship. Cooper. Cooper, that's his name. You're right. I love Cooper's my favorite. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pinky promise. <laughs> okay, uh, then have a contest. The winner increases their friendship with one of those envoys, and the loser increases their friendship with the other. Okay. Then have another contest. The loser removes their allied envoy from the game. Oh. Return for the sequel, Vaquero Ura, against the Cosmic Crime Conference. All right, so let's do the first contest. Uh, the first thing, it's, a contest is very similar to a duel, but it's a little bit less to do. First thing you do is reveal face down envoys, which we don't have any. Mm -hmm. Next is to choose plans. So we're going to choose a plan here. Okay. Um, I want to take that and put it underneath this card. Because before plans are revealed, there are one or fewer cards here. There's one. I can take it and put it under here. And now you have to choose a different one. I'm going to play this. Okay. 
Ready? I'm going to guess your plan. Oh. <laughs> You're so good at it. I'm not. I only <sighs> guessed it one time, and I was with, only within three. I'll guess four. Four? Okay. Yeah. I've got ten. I've got a negative ten. <laughs> okay. So All if right. you win one of them. I win the one I get to pick. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll reread it. Um, increase your friendship with one of those envoys, and I increase my friendship with the other. I don't want that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do Parasite. I'll take the Parasite. Okay, so then I'll increase my friendship with Voyager. So when you increase your friendship, you're basically moving it one closer to you. If I increase my friendship with Lara's um, envoy, it would become neutral again. And if I increased it one more, it would come to me. But you can only have one envoy unless something says otherwise. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to have another contest, and the loser removes their allied envoy from the game. Ooh. Oops, I have one is... card left. Okay, ready? I'm going to guess. Eleven. Okay, it's zero. No, mine's ten. Mine, I have the value of that, mm -hmm. which is ten. So we tie. Then we have the ability to play reinforcements. Do you have any reinforcements? That's my last card. I don't have one either. Um, so, so for contest, doesn't the slacker win tie? Contest and duels, when players can choose, nope, during contest, the leader has the opportunity, nope. Each player has the same total clout. The straggler wins. So that's me. I win. So what happens? I have to remove this envoy from, from the, the game. game. Okay. So goodbye, Voyager. Eh. So do we replace these now? No. What? Yep. Only if a game a game effect tells us to. Wow. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we finish that next yep. we have a refresh refresh cards or resources starting with the leader oh that's that's still me that's you you're yeah. the leader each player either draws two cards or acquires one of the following resources from any planet they control so i can only pick one <laughs> what to share both of the icons on the planets that i are for recover three ships oh so Oh, or draw two cards. And I'm going to draw a whole hand. So mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and get three ships. What does my mine do? Draw three cards. All right, I'll draw three cards. One, okay. two, three. All right, and next is Woo! a new... Oh, he's excited. All right, here we go. This tells us to draw a new discovery card. Forsaken planet. Discover a duel and have a duel... <laughs> Discover a planet and have a duel there. Um, this is going to have a ship advantage of plus nine. So, um, yeah. All right. We're going to choose. First step of a duel is always to choose how many ships you're going to send. Hmm. Oh, I need to knock that down. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I have three. Two. Okay, next step is, I've got my envoy. Um, I can choose a player to send one additional ship. I don't wanna do that. So that's the ability of my parasite that I just allied with. I became my friend. Uh, next is to choose plans and tactics. So now do I get to draw my hand up? Yes. Okay. But it's not going to matter because I'm going to make you extricate. Which means you choose one of these as your plan for this duel. All right, what do I got? What do I got? Do, 
interesting to go and discard. All right, I picked my plan. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Three attack. Two defend. All right, so I destroy one of your ships. All right? I defended two. Oh, okay, then never mind. <laughs> ah, I only have two ships I there. can't catch a break. All right. Now it's time to move on to, since we still have ships there, we're going to move on to our plan. I am going to guess your card. I'm guessing... Yes? 30. 30? Okay, mm -hmm. no, not at all. Okay. Nine. Four. Okay. It looks like my plan, my uh, thing came into my favor, and I've got the ship advantage plus nine, so I've got 18. Can you beat an 18? I don't have any reinforcements. Okay, so it looks like I win the duel. Discard. Take your ships off my planet, please. And this says the loser may decrease their friendship with one on envoy or increase it with one envoy. Oh. Or not not or you can do both. Or both? You may decrease your friendship with one envoy. You may increase your friendship with one envoy. Okay, I will increase my friendship with this envoy. Okay. So she's not gonna reveal it to me until a certain part. <laughs> uh, as Jeff, that's the whole idea behind this game uh, and Cosmic Encounter in general. Is he said, it sounds like we're making stuff up as we go. It does, <laughs> but that's how the, the cards play out. All right. She's not going to reveal this to me into our next duel or contest. Okay, so the bottom of this card yes. dictates the next card will be an event. Event, the Ypsilon Man. The leader destroys all but one of their ships from the planet of their choice that has the highest number of their ships. You are the leader. I have one ship on one planet and two ships <laughs> on another. So I will destroy this one. Then have a duel on that planet. The leader cannot send ships. The straggler can send ships from the warp but cannot send more ships than the leader destroyed with this effect. Okay. So you can only send one. All right. Okay. All right. Well, I'll send one. Boop. And we're having a duel. We are having a duel. Okay. Choose plan and tactics. Oops, I didn't. Did I? I didn't, didn't do mine. Yeah. Okay. Well, I know what's going to happen. Yeah. All right, reveal tactics. All right, we both did the one where we refresh two of our tactics. And then our and opponent, opponent refreshes one. Refreshes the other. All right, so I'm going to choose this and this. And then, no, you get to do, you get to do one for me. So, like, I choose. Oh. No, 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 no. Like, I choose. <laughs> I'm not being clear. So I chose this one, which lets me refresh two, and you refresh one from mm -hmm. yours. And you did the same thing. So basically, we're both refreshing three. Yeah, that's what I was in the middle of doing, and oh. then you interrupted me like I was doing it wrong, so I stopped. Misunderstood. Yes, you did. <laughs> but then this one never gets exhausted. It just comes Correct. right back. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, what are we doing now? So we are, we've chosen our plans. Now we need to, oh, yeah. oh wait, no, we just did our, we just chose our tactics. Yeah. So we need to reveal our plans. So, cause we both have one ship each. Mm -hmm. Okay. You getting um, guess? Um, <laughs> I'm going to guess. 40. You're supposed to be within three? Mm-hmm. 31. Oh. I played 31. Oh. And I don't have any reinforcements. Do you? No. Okay. So, the straggler wins. So that's me. Mm-hmm. We have the same total clout. Oh, ship it. Nope. No ship advantage. Mm-mm. Okay. So I win the planet. 
Mm -hmm. But you are now the straggler. And you gain one reinforcement. Oh, great. Okay. That's funny. Okay. That's the end of the duel. And discard all cards. Okay, next is a refresh. Okay. Refresh ships or resources. Starting with the leader, each player either recovers two ships or acquires one of the following resources from any planet they control. So you can choose to increase your friendship with an envoy or draw three cards or recover two ships. And I can choose to draw three cards or recover two ships. Hmm. I'm going to recover two ships. Same as me. Looking a little low there. And we draw a new planet card. Reveal a new planet. Discovery. Mirror universe. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. During this duel, if any player would win the game, the first player to win the game loses the game instead. <laughs> that sounds like made up. Remember that again. During this duel, if any player would win the game, the first player to win the game loses the game instead. Well, we're not there yet. No, but that's still funny. The whoever has a ship advantage on that one gets plus 11. Um... Let's see. So we set our dials. Okay. Ready? Uh-huh. Three. Four. All right. Is that so far looking like you've got the ship advantage? Mm-hmm. Now we choose our plan and tactics. Before you choose your plan, you have to take this one for this one because of my red tape. Okay. Look like you're pretty happy with that. Okay, and I'm gonna choose. Jeff, since you joined late, I hope you can go back and watch from the beginning because yeah. we explain more of it. <laughs> We're really just reading the cards, <laughs> man, I promise. <laughs> okay, I choose this one. Okay. Reveal. Four defense. Three defense. Okay. All right, shoot. And now I will guess your plan. Well, you have the advantage, too. I do. What's I'm my plan? I'm going to guess that your plan is 13. No. Eight. Oh, man. I was, I was close, but not three close. Uh, mine is 11, the palindromic. So with my advantage, I'm at 22. You're at 22. If I play here. Mm. That's not going to help. All right. It's yours. You win the duel. <sighs> my goodness. All right. Um, loser. Echoed prize. Discard your hand, then draw cards until Aww. you have as many as your opponent. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Next is... Event. An event. Planetary governor for life. Use the planet bar. So they've put those little 8-bit icons that I told you about in order, in a certain order on this card. Use the planet bar to select a planet and have a duel there. Each player who controls the planet cannot send ships. So, purple is first. Okay. So, you cannot send ships, but I can. Mm hmm Okay. So, we're having a duel. I'm going to send two ships. Okay. Uh, choose plan or tactic. Um, plan and tactic, sorry. Yeah. Oops. Reveal. Uh. 
What? <laughs> you flipped it over. Is that what you meant to do all along? You're supposed to spin it. To defend. Okay. You've defended. And I don't do anything. Okay, but I have the ship advantage. Going Which is plus five. Plus five. I'm going to guess that you are playing... Hmm, an 11. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. She guessed exactly. And I played a 42. So oh. yours is a 3. <laughs> <laughs> Plus 5. And I get to gain a reinforcement. Okay, so you win. There's no way. Get off my planet. <laughs> okay, that was good. Very, very good guess. Thank you. Okay. Um, winner, increase your friendship with one envoy. <gasps> I will be oh. friends with the parasite. Which one are you? Go ahead. Yep. There okay. we go. All right. Um, next. Ooh. Refresh. Just pick, dipstick. <laughs> I like the way she read it. I should, here, I'll do an accent like my mom. Just pick, dipstick. That's a little, <laughs> a, a exaggerated. little forced. Yeah, exaggerated. Okay. Starting with the leader, each player chooses a planet they control, then each player acquires the resources from both planets. So you choose one you control, and I choose one I control, and we both oh, get them. Oh, okay. Hmm. Increase your friendship with him. What are you saying? Okay, I choose green. Okay, which green is opponent readies one of your tactics. Oops, this should be down. That one. That should be down. This one? Yeah. Okay. I choose, well, purple or green. Hmm. I'll do green. So it's the same thing? Mm-hmm. You ready one of my tactics? This one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're both ready the one. Okay. And next is discover a new planet. Another battlefield. Uh, okay. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. Okay. Uh, ship advantage for this one is 10. The loser draws five cards. We are selecting how many ships we're sending. Mm hmm Reveal. Three. Three. I see When do three. we reveal our envoy? Uh, right now. Reveal face down envoys. Masochist. Oh, boy. You can reveal the masochist only while you have ten or more ships in your supply. Mm hmm That's five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, okay. If you must send ships from your supply but cannot, you win the game instead of losing. Oh. The masochists evangelize that to feel the highest levels of pleasure, one must endure the highest levels of pain. So you're trying to get rid of all your ships? What it looks uh. like? Okay. I see. I see what's, what's changed here. Okay. Uh, now we're going to choose plan and tactics. Mm-hmm. Ready. Ready. Four defense. Three attack. You do not destroy any of my ships. Okay. I am going to guess your plan. Mm -hmm. Not going to work this time. <laughs> Wait. Uh, before it's revealed, take. I'm going to take that one because of bureau, uh, my bureaucratic red tape, and you have to pick another one. Okay. 
Now you can guess. 42. Is there a mirror behind me or something? <laughs> what are you doing? I got it. Like, you know I, we both have identical decks, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. So I see. You see that you played a 42 and know that I haven't played a 42. So you deduce that I might have a 42. Okay. How does that make sense now? Yeah. That's... You know what's really funny? I'm sure for the audience at home watching is your face when I get it right, like the very first one, you just blink a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of on purpose. <laughs> but your face. Yeah. You, so now your total is three. Three to your six. Yes. And no one has ship advantage. Leader, are you going to play a reinforcement? I have no reinforcements. Oh, no. I know. I'm done. I can't. I lose. I don't. Okay, so Loser, we're three and three. Draw five cards. Okay, one, Loser. two. Those are her. Now some other cards. This is going to get interesting. There's a little bit of a slight deck building element to it because you're getting this cards from reinforcements. reinforcements, but also your you're opponent. Not purchasing them though. Well, but I mean, your deck is changing. I wouldn't call it deck building. Deck changing. So we're tied. Three planets. So three planets. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five. But I have revealed that I have a masochist envoy. You do. That changes things. All right, we're about to draw cards. That which, is a big change. Yes, I am armed with my strawberry bubbly. We are not endorsed. One, mine. two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. That means I gotta get rid of two. Okay. Next is an event. Event cosmic quest. If there's a face down neutral envoy, nope, reveal it. If there are multiple, the straggler chooses one. Otherwise, the straggler chooses one of the envoy decks and places one random unused envoy from the chosen deck face up as a neutral envoy. So now we get to add one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, cool. Vacuum. Oh, the vacuum. That looks epic. Mm -hmm. Then have a contest. The winner increases or decreases their friendship with one envoy. Aww. Cosmic quest. Never relinquish. Never capitulate. Oh, like Galaxy Quest. Yes. My goodness. Okay. Tactics. Reveal face down envoys. Nobody has one. Choose plans. Choose a plan from your hand. Uh, how? Is that any good? <laughs> suck. <laughs> that does suck real bad. I do I like, don't that. like that. One. That's fun. Okay, I'll do. Oh, I'll, I'll do this. This is my plan. Ready? Mm -hmm. Reveal. Nine. Negative two. So I become friends with it. You can increase friendship with one neutral envoy. Okay, I, have to I want be to do vacuum. this one. I want well, to you want to suck. I want to suck. Oops, this goes here. Okay. All right. Next is refresh. There can only be one. Each player discards all but one card from their hand. Then each player gains one in reinforcement. All but one card from their hand. That's interesting. Okay. <coughs> Bless you. So sorry. I hope that didn't you went blow the other way. Out. So. I did, and I covered it. I hope that didn't <laughs> blow you guys out. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next, a pink card. Discovery. Por qué no los dos? Oh no. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. The loser does not retreat ships from the planet. Ship advantage two. So in this case Why we not could two. Yep. Isn't that what that means? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Okay. Uh, so the first thing we do is set 
dials, how many ships you gonna send? You gonna send, eh? Reveal. Oh, I know. Four. Okay. <laughs> Why is that? I should have thought of that. <laughs> Well, you could choose one of two things. You gotta choose a tactic. I know, but you have to have a plan too. All right, oh, I have a plan. Oh, he's got a plan. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ready? Uh -huh. Reveal. <laughs> it shows the same thing again. <laughs> refresh to, and one of your opponents gets a refresh. So I'm gonna refresh We only two. have three down. Okay, then I'll refresh so. one. Okay. Okay, um, so get the ship advantage. You get the ship advantage plus two. Mm hmm. And I'm gonna guess. You have no idea now. That your card is. Mm hmm. An eight. An eight, you say? No. Okay. You. Yep. It's a 20. 20. Mm, I have a five. Weak you sauce. You have seven. The weak sauce. I have the bold. So, I believe I win. Uh, but you yeah. don't retreat your ships. I don't. So we are still tied. For so remember that whoever gets the fifth planet wins. So. Or if I can't send any more ships. Yep. Yeah. But I think we'll get to the fifth planet first. Okay. All right. Next. Event speed read the future. Starting with the leader, each player chooses a different destiny deck. Each player simultaneously searches their chosen deck. When one player chooses a card and places it face down, both players stop searching. That card is resolved next. Then each player shuffles their chosen deck. Okay. Oh my god. So the leader picks one first. One would think it would be easy to win a race against the clock. They have only a face and hands, no legs. Ah. Uh, so I pick no. first. Okay, um, yes, see, starting with the leader, each player chooses a different destiny deck. Each player simultaneously searches their chosen deck, and when one player chooses a card and places it face down, both players stop searching. That okay. card is revealed next. Oh, it's the next one. Yep. And then each player shuffles their chosen deck. Okay, you ready to look? Mm-hmm. Ready to go. Uh, uh, pick one. <laughs> Who went first? I don't know. Um, I said something, you didn't. <laughs> I put mine down on camera where they can see it, and you didn't. <laughs> All right, we'll go with you. What'd you got? I think this is gonna be fun. Mine would have been We're more have fun. We're gonna have to shuffle them. We're I know. Have to shuffle. Mine would have been more fun. Starting with the leader, players alternate removing an option from the list below until there's only one remaining, and each player resolves that <laughs> option. <laughs> okay. See, this is not kind of fun. Yes. So, gain two reinforcements. Recover up to three ships, destroy three ships from your supply, or draw four cards, or increase your friendship with one envoy. Oh, who gets to pick first? Um, starting with the leader. Okay, I choose destroy three ships. To remove from the list? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Um, I choose recover up to three ships. Okay. I choose uh, increase your friendship with one envoy to remove. I choose draw four cards. So that leave gain two reinforcements. Do we each do that? Yep. Okay. Uh, you first. Each player resolves that option. And now I shuffle the deck. Oh. So that's what we did. Yep. Bam. Okay. So 
So the next thing that we'll you do. Can, you can shuffle yours. Yep. Okay. Next thing we'll do is discover a planet. Sympathetic inhabitants. Discover a new planet and have a duel there. Plus four. All right, this could be it, folks. Ooh. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's where everything counts. Okay, before plans are chosen. Okay, that's, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm going to go set, we're going to set our ships, ship dials. Okay, ready? <laughs> yep. One, two, three, four. Four. <laughs> Okay, before plans are chosen, each player must select one random card from their hand and discard the rest. <laughs> I was cheating. I was keeping up with which card was which, so. So bad. Just mm -hmm. gotta rip the band-aid off, right? Oh yes. yes. No, you discard all but one. Oh. Okay. There you go. Select one and then discard the rest. Okay. Um, should I do this? We have to select our tactic. I know, but I'm, should I make you use this or not? I will not. Ready. What are you going to do? Ready to see? I'm not ready. Hold One. on. I'm thinking. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay. Uh, ready, set, go. Uh, Bam. Aw, uh, you. I'm glad I did that. Boo, I was, I chose. To blast him for four. I chose to block. blocked four. I should have blasted two. That way we could start the duel over. And it would have sent more of my ships to the warp. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to reveal plans, which we only have one. Are you trying to guess? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't want to make eye contact with me? Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. It's probably a reinforcement. I'll say it's 12. No. Eight. Oh my gosh. That's four. Oh my. Oh. I have a 10. Hmm. No reinforcements. No one has the ship advantage. Oh no. Looks like I lose. Oh, it does. Peace must retreat and you get. Increase your planet. friendship with one envoy twice. But you have five planets now. I do. So that would make you the winner. It does. I just want to see if it would have been better for me to make you play this or not. Okay. Nope. 20. <laughs> 20. 20, that would not have been better. So, um, Lara has control over five Intelligent planets. Intelligent mineral. Intelligent mineral. Dumb as a box of rocks is now a compliment, <laughs> thanks to me. Well, congratulations on your win. Thank you. Thank um, you. This was fun. That was pretty exciting. This was a good one. I didn't know what was going to happen for the nope. whole game, basically. Which and that's that's what that's the fun of it. Yeah. So. So does anybody out there have any questions? You want to shoot up there on the chat? We can answer real quick before we go about yeah. the game. Yep. Um, it didn't. So this was our third time to play it. Mm -hmm. And I'd say after our second time, we pretty much had everything cleared up. Yeah, I think so. Um, any questions? I think it's definitely, you can't go into this game with the same mindset that you do with regular Cosmic Encounter. Mm -mm. This, I mean, this, you legitimately have to be so much more cutthroat yeah. and be in your face. So, and I know that that's been some people that we know who have mm -hmm. played this game, that's one reason they don't like regular Cosmic Encounter. And so... <laughs> Do not try and bring that person into this game mm -hmm. thinking it's going to be any better because yeah. it's not. Because now, I mean, well, the gloves are off. It's mano a mano. Mm -hmm. And so if you really want to make something happen in this game, 
you really have to go kind of hard about it. Well, it's the tagline is what is that? A cunning game of cha galactic chaos, and that was what I was about to say is there's so much more chaos in this. Oh yeah, the, and the yeah, destiny and stuff is choosing to embrace that chaos and like really doing your best to make the game as chaotic as possible is when it really does <laughs> really shine. Um, I really like that some of these. It's the alien ability yeah. that really does that. So, like the last game that we played, my alien uh, race was Swarm, mm -hmm. and so if he had the ship advantage, um, I reduced it to half, rounded up, and but if I had the ship advantage, I doubled the ship advantage. Mm -hmm. Like that's pretty chaotic. Yeah. Well, and like me. Keeping the cards over here, Taking never knowing card away, when I was going to do it and, and make you change it. Mm -hmm. Or me guessing your numbers. Yeah, that was chaos. Game winning right there. <laughs> you and your guessing. <laughs> All right, well. And my little green ability beat your red ability. Yep, yep. I chose one of the harder ones, the hardest type, anyway. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't see any questions. Nope. I hope you all had a great time. Um, if and you, if you haven't entered the contest to win a copy of Cosmic mm -hmm. Encounter Duel, you have a few hours left. Yep, so make sure you check either Lighten Up Initiative on Facebook or Twitter in the news feeds there or the profiles. There will be information on how to enter to win this very game. Not this one, but and the game. And not the mat, no. but the game itself. Game. Brand yes. new in strength. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, you're very welcome, Family Meeple. Glad you watched. And I um, hope you have a great evening. I hope everybody else has an awesome week, evening and week. Yes. You too. I hope you have a great week. Thank you. Everybody, wear your mask. And, <laughs> and don't right. let the board game industry. Oh, don't take the board game hobby too seriously. Just lighten up.